Hello there, Andre Louis with Fracture Sounds. And today I'm going to show you a few ways that I, as a blind producer, record using NKS and Fracture Sounds products. So we're going to start off using uh, Electric Keys, Blueprint Electric Keys, which is the first Blueprint library that I ever played. And I love it. I've even used it on stage at gigs, and I've actually used it on a commercial release on Spotify too. It's very exciting. So I'm using Logic Pro here on a Mac, and I use VoiceOver. Now, VoiceOver is the built in screen reader on Macs. Windows has Narrator and a bunch of other third party screen readers as well. Now, if you are a Mac user, you can bring up VoiceOver by doing Command and the F5 key on your keyboard, or Command and triple clicking the power button on your Mac. Now, I, I have no sight at all, so I have to use the keyboard for all interactions. So that means I don't use the mouse in any way, shape, or form, other than to accidentally graze it sometimes and send it flying across the screen. So here I am in the plugin window for complete control, and I brought that up using a hotkey. Now I've got a whole bunch of different hotkeys for my logic here that just enable me to fly around logic a lot faster than without them. So as I've already loaded electric keys on this, you will not see it, but on the next window, I'm gonna show you how I do that directly from Native Instruments hardware. And Native Instruments has really given me the musical start that I have in my life at the moment, because without it, I wouldn't be able to use libraries like these because a lot of these interfaces are not natively accessible. So basically my plan today is to put down perhaps like an eight bar or 16 bar loop and show you how I go about that, because that's how I base a lot of my pieces. I tend to start in a very loopy fashion and then I'll build it out later. I want an idea. I think I want to do something in A flat major. Now this is what, just one of the most warm roads I've ever played. It's just so beautiful. I mean, I haven't changed any of the settings yet. It's just, it lives, it's just here. And any chord I strum on it, almost like a guitar, just comes out warm and good. Yeah. Okay, great. I have an idea, so I'm gonna Go and set the tempo briefly, so I need to switch windows. Tracks. We'll be back in a moment. So what I've just done is use something called Item Chooser, which allows me to type what I want to reach quickly on the screen, in this case tempo, and now I can set that. I'm going to check using the metronome. Yeah, that'll do. 90 BPM. All right, okay. Let's go back into this. Plug in Complete. window so you can see as I record. Complete. One bar, one one right. One, one bar, one one Let's go for this. Take. One bar counting. That will do nicely. Simple but effective. Tracks. All right, let's set up a cycle mode because it's quick and easy. So I'll turn on cycle with C. Nine bars, one beat one. I'll go to nine bars and set the end of the locator like that. Bars, go back a bar, check it's working. There we go, very nice. So now we're gonna use the complete browser and I'm not gonna use the computer keyboard or the mouse to, to load the product I want. So I hit the browser on the keyboard. Browser. I'll turn the vendor knob till I reach fracture sounds. Embertone. Evolution series, fracture sounds. Here it is. Turn the dial until I reach Homestead Piano. Product, all product, emotional recorder, hemisphere guitars. Homestead Piano. <laughs> Press select. Preset, balance. Here. Close button. What a beautiful piano. So, this is just going to be like um, chords to help the roads out. It's going to be sort of... Um, Pseudo lo-fi, I suppose. One bar, one one right, so here we go. I'm going to kind of strum my way into this. Good, I made a mistake. So you get to see me redo it again, but that's okay. That happens. I actually like that. Undo. One bar, one bar, one bar, I've used one the undo key on the keyboard and I'll replay that because I failed epically.
There we go. Right, let's go and change this humanized value because it's a bit too tight for me. The quantize isn't very nice, so let's do that. Jumping into the inspector table. In table 100%. Go down the bottom here. I like 75% humanized because it gives a bit more realism. Let's play it soloed and let's turn the metronome off as well. Have a bit of a listen. And you can hear some of the mechanics of the piano. It gives it that real feel. I really, really like that already. All right. Track three complete. So, time for a little drums. We're going to use drum kit, of course. Complete. Contents. Drum, Selection replaced. drum kit. All right. Same again. Close Window. Button. Drum kit. Drum complete. Let's browse for drum kit. Browser. Stand this browsers. time, I want to... Vendor. All vendors. User. User. Factory. There we go. Ember tone. Fracture sounds. Fracture sounds. Blueprint. Here we go. Drum kit. Click. Reset. Drum kit. So, drum kit is now loaded. Now, this is kind of the wrong feel for this. I need to make some adjustments. So this is good because you get to see me do that here. So if you saw the walkthrough video I did for drum kit, you'll know that I can adjust all the mics and things like this. I need to tame the room down. I Zero want a nice close sound here. Oh, 75%, 70%, 58%, 58%, 56%, 48%, 50%. So I've got the overheads to 50%. Yeah, this is going to be all right, I think. I'm going to do a test play, not even a record, just one see how it one feels. Two. One bar, one eight, one two. Yeah, this can work. Here we go. Notice my symbols are a little quiet, and that's because oh, 50%. my O is only 50. I'm going to turn that up slightly. 57%. There we go. Got a bit of a crash there. Also, my the end of my track, I'm going to go to the end of the window. Close. Notice that open hi-hat just keeps on ringing back through to uh, bar one. So what I'm going to do is hit record and then just hit the closed hi-hat here on the C-sharp as it comes Nine back around like this. That should do. Four beats, one bar, one eight, nine, eight, have a listen again. Simple but effective there. Also, I'll humanize the drums a bit. Table, just take in table, Otherwise, it's very mechanical. Insider, 100%, 98, 8, 75%. There we go. How about that? Tracks, Let's have a listen. Okay, don't like that hi hat. Comes in late, so let's go into the MIDI editor. Command and seven. Untitled logic, eight items, eight items, eight items selected. There it is. In position, status, position, one one seventy five. And it comes in one one seventy five. So I'm just going to put it at one one one. So it comes in right on bar one, bar. one beat one, like okay, that. Untitled, have a listen one, here. One, okay, so I'm going to pick gentle strings next. Epic Grand, Feedback Guitar, Festivals, Gentle Strings, Preset, Gentle Strings. Hotspots allow me to get around Logic super quickly. So when I um, set up a new project, and particularly this one, because the window is not how I have it at home exactly, um, hotspots get lost, and it's a voiceover problem, not anything else. So I have the hotspot to go to the tempo bar, as we used earlier. This one that goes to the track header that I use all the time. The one that would go to the mixer that doesn't right now. This one to go to the inspector table. So when I'm working with people, or even myself, you know, I have to be very efficient in the studio, just as you do. And since I can't use the mouse, I do use the keyboard in all these different ways that enable me to be extremely quick. So um, I'm going to I'm going to put back the mixer hotspot that allows me to be useful. There we go. So now I have one to go to the mixer, one to go to the track header, one to go to the inspector, one to go to the tempo up there. So that that enables me to get to really key parts of Logic super super quickly. One 
on. See, it's just hidden underneath everything. You're not really supposed to hear it, more feel it, and I like things like that. It's like one of those things where when you make a cake, if you didn't have either the sugar or the salt or the egg even, it would be not the same kind of cake. It's all in there, it's all blended. And if it was missing, you'd feel it. So I like things like that. Yeah. So we have our strings, we have our drums. Let's hear it without the metronome now, just for get a feel of if it worked. I'm going to mute Homestead and see how that feels, just roads and uh, strings. With these four tracks, um, this could now turn into something. I could, for example, put the piano and strings at the beginning and then move the roads into bar nine. That kind of thing, you know, move it all around and turn it into something meaningful. But this is how I start to write things. I put everything together as a palette and then sometimes I'll move things around. And sometimes I'll even come up with a middle eight. Not all the time though. There are days when I just save that much. My hard drive is full, absolutely chock full of loop ideas like this that I can never extend. But there are days when you just have a great idea and then you can. I hope this quick and dirty demo gives you a little bit of an insight into how I as a blind person work. Um, I promise I do better work than this. Um, but it is at least an idea and you can, you can take all these blueprint libraries yourself and do uh, similar things, maybe better things very definitely better things. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to Fracture Sounds, check out the FractureSounds.com website, and if you feel so inclined, you can come over to my YouTube channel, which is linked in the video description as well. Thanks for watching.